know you like what you've seen so far. From engineering, to nursing, to business, to internships across the world, Southern University will help you reach your potential. My school offers a great education, encourages community service, and yes, it lets you have fun too. Call or visit our campus to discover all the great opportunities at Southern University. She, she's stroking the jumper, and uh, we're doing a good job of getting her some good looks. Uh, and, and she gets it going, you know, the energy picks up. I thought defensively we were really sluggish tonight. You know, I don't know the reasoning for that, but, you know, every game is critical at this point. You know, they got to step up. Our point guard play wasn't uh, consistent and solid as I'd like to see it. Um, I thought we let them get the ball in. Uh, to the lane way too much. Um, got in a little foul trouble and we got a little, you know, kind of secondary, waiting for, to see what was going to happen instead of stepping up, making them have to throw over us and rotating. So I, I was really, uh, you know, concerned about that effort, you know. So tomorrow that's going to definitely have to be a point of emphasis. The weak side rebound, we didn't do a good job of boxing out and going to get it. You know, I mean, you're getting out rebounded on your home court. I mean, there's no excuse for us to. You know, we're bigger than them, but we got to do a better job. Um, but, you know, I thought the biggest key in the game was uh, Kendra and Brittany, you know, just getting to their mid-range jump shot and hit some shots. I thought starting the game, we had everybody shooting but the right people. You know, uh, our, our bigs were jump shooting, and, you know, we need them on the block, um, doing a better job of working the power game. You've mentioned the point guards two or three times recently. Is, is that an area that's uh, concerning you? It's definitely way? an area of concern because, you know, point guard play is critical to um, your team in terms of closing out games, uh, distributing the basketball, and um, tempo, you know, and clock maintenance. So, uh, you know, you, you, you want to go with, you know, Bonnie. She does a good job of pushing the basketball. But, you know, we can't continue to make mental errors down the stretch. Um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm very simple as a coach in terms of, you know, when, when, if someone's hot, let's get them the basketball. You know, I thought too many trips we came down where Kendra had gone three for three, and, you know, we had too many, too many trips where she didn't touch the basketball, and that can't happen. Um, you know, Britt really did a good job of picking up the slack. That was one of the reasons why I went with Kendra at the point, to ensure that the, her hands were on the basketball. So, you know, uh, we all sit down as a team and look at it, talk about it. Make sure everybody understands exactly, you know, what we're trying to get and uh, what we're looking for. Is that more of a concern offensively or defensively? Well, you know, when you move Kendra to the point, um, you go with a bigger lineup, so you're always better defensively because you're you you you're more athletic, you're bigger, um, and you know, so you know, instead of playing two little ones, you play one and then go with the bigs on the uh, the backside. So. Um, I like the lineup. You know, I don't want to have to put Kendra in that position to play 40 minutes, but you know, during the course of the year, you'll definitely see her playing that job at least, you know, 10 to 15 minutes a game. Talk about this latest stretch for Brittany Washington and how well she's been playing and uh, stepping up as a as another consistent score that you need as you guys prepare. Brittany, right. knows, Brittany understands her role. You know, I, I, I talked to her the other day and we talked about her uh, productivity and. You know, I told her going down the back stretch, we really needed her to get 10 to 12 points a game for us because that would take a lot of pressure off Kendra, you know. Um, you know, I could play Kendra less minutes, you know, because this time of the year, it, you know, it's starting to wear, you know, the 20, 30, the 30 to 40 minutes a night wear on your legs, especially when you're playing Saturday, Monday. You know, you get that one rest Tuesday and then you're right back, you know, two hour practice Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, get ready for Saturday. And, you know, and there's a lot of pressure on her to uh, lead the team and, 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 and score buckets. So um, Brittany stepping up on the perimeter gives uh, the, opposed, the opponents another uh, potential scorer who can come off screens or put it on the floor and do some, some creative things for us. I didn't see the final stats, but for most of the game, you had a big edge in turnovers, which I think led to you taking a lot more shots than you did. Well, we didn't take enough shots. I thought we let them control the tempo. You know, they want to walk it down and they want to run their half court set and, you know, move the ball and, and run the high low look and, um, you know, little backdoor cuts that they like to do and, um, you know, the double down we decided to get some, some people some looks at the basket. 
you know, that's not our, that's not us. You know, that was us, you know, last year, two years ago. This year, we want to play fast. We want to get it up and down. We want to push up. Uh, we've got to be more aggressive. We've got to uh, hit our jump traps. We can't be tentative. I thought we were real tentative. We looked a little sluggish tonight to me. So, um, you know, this is critical time. You can't be tired, you know, and, and it could be, you know, studying late, you know, tests, that, that type of thing, and having that type of anxiety. But, we, you know, we'll sit down, we'll talk about it, and we'll try to get it ironed out because we've got a big one on Monday. Talk about the play that uh, Kennedy Robinson had tonight uh, with some – quality minutes and also some post moves on the inside and scoring and, and just being aggressive. Uh, talk about her play tonight. You know, um, Kenny does whatever coach asks. You know, that's a beautiful thing about having a, a Kennedy Robinson is if I ask her to guard the point guard, she's going to go give me what she's got. Um, you know, um, she's her offensive game has really uh, started to turn and come around, um, being able to post and uh, she, you know, they used to call her in high school the girl of a thousand moves, you know, so being able to get the, the up and under move and finish in traffic, you know, I thought that was big, not only for the team, but for her, because we really need that, 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 that center position to score, because um, if that center position doesn't score, then they can double jazz and do some other things, so for her to be able to post or pick and roll or get out in transition and do some things, that's definitely a plus for us. You're always there for your team. And as a fan, you want your voice to be heard. The NCAA 6 Fans Sweepstakes is your chance to do just that. Get in the game at NCAA.com slash 6Fan and lead your school to victory. Huddle up with fellow fans and spread the word because the fan base with the most votes will be crowned champion on Selection Sunday as the NCAA 6 Fan. Go to NCAA.com slash 6Fan and vote now because your team can't win without its 6th fan.